Uh, Army employs a little over 200 people worldwide, but all bar about 15 or 16 are employed in Toowoomba. We currently sell to about 50 different countries. I went to university in Toowoomba, but I always thought I'd have to leave to get a really good job. RME had a uh, graduate engineering position going and it really caught my eye. And from then I just fell into a dream job. The culture, or perhaps more importantly, uh, the morale of RME um, has always been vitally important. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you're making satellites or plastic toys, it's, it's people, the people that are most important to the firm or our employees. It gives me a buzz to think that the work that we do here is going all over the world and is so important for Monic. The shutdown time is so expensive that it is really critical that the work we do is spot on. Uh, I guess the establishment cost, it was cheaper to get going in Toowoomba than it would have been in Brisbane. Maybe we wouldn't have made it uh, trying to establish in Brisbane. It surprised me how the situation here and the population is of a quality that it's allowed us to grow the business from a turnover of $12,000 in 1985 to $73 million in the next financial year. You know, the building, <laughs> by way of example, architecturally, engineering, manufacture, everything, it's a 100% Toowoomba building. Attitudes are changing with living in Toowoomba. I think what helps is affordable living, just getting out of, out of the big city and, and maybe having more of a lifestyle with work. Toowoomba's a great place uh, to live and there's no impediment whatsoever to operating a global business from here. Um, we're not Brisbane, we are out in the country so there's all sorts of lifestyle opportunities. Yet the access to those serious pieces of infrastructure, the Port of Brisbane and uh, Brisbane Airport, um, are so close. Um, it's, it's no consequence whatsoever. So Toowoomba could be anything um, to anybody. Uh, clear air, clear thinking too.